working lady in our church, our beloved mother, Deaconess Evelyn, as we welcome her body into our cathedral, the sentences shall now be read. the fortress of glory divine, air of salvation, air of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is, this is my song. Praising my Savior. All the day long. This is my story. This is my song. This is praising my Savior. Praising my Savior. All the day long. Perfect submission, perfect sub, perfect delight, visions of rapture, visions of now burst on my sight. Angels ascending, angels bring from above echoes of mercies, echoes of whispers of love. This is, this is my story. This is my song. This is praising my Savior. All the day long. This is my story. This is my song. This is praising my Savior. Praising. All the day long, all the perfect submission, perfect sub, all is at rest. I am my savior. I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, watching and looking above. Filled with his goodness, filled with his lost in his love, lost in. Oh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. All the day long. This is my story. This is my song. This is 
praising my Savior, praising my Savior. Perfect submission, perfect submission. All is at rest. I am my Savior. I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, watching and looking above, filled with his goodness, filled with his lost in his love. Oh, this is my story, this is my story, this is praising my Savior. All the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. Praising my Savior. All the day long. Thank you. Please be seated. We shall now have our first biblical reading, which is taken from the 27th Psalm and shall be read by Rico Yard. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked even my enemies and my foes come upon me to eat my flesh. They stumble and fell. Though a, though and a host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in time of trial, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up upon my, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around me. Therefore, I will offer in his Therefore will I offer in his terminate sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry my voice. Have mercy upon me and answer me. When thou said, I seek my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, I will seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take up, will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord. Lead me in the plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such breed of cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Please stand, let us sing from our hymnal, our hymn sheets, what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. Our sins and grief. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Everything. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh. What peace we have. Oh, what needless pains we bear. 
Well, because we do not carry all, because we do not everything to God in prayer, everything. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? Is there? We should never be discouraged. Should never be. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to. Can we find a friend so faithful? Can we find a friend? Who will all our sorrow share? Will all our sorrow? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord. Are we weak and heavy laden? And heavy, cumbered. With a load of care, comfort. Precious Savior, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it. Do thy friends despise forsake thee? Do thy friends despise? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. Can thou will find a solace there. Thou will find a solace there. Thank you. Please be seated. At this time you should have a musical tribute. This world is not my home by the female ministers.
deaconesses, ministers, females, thank you very much for that lovely tribute to our beloved sister, Deaconess Evelyn. I loved Evelyn very much because she and I got along very, very well in Cuckoo Village. And she would always give me a good word of encouragement. She was like a mother to me, always, always correcting me whenever she saw me doing anything that she think was wrong. God rest her, bless her soul. At this time, we shall have our second biblical reading, the 46th Psalm, and this shall be read by Enya Yard. Enya Yard. refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. With desolation he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The host, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah, there ends the reading. Please stand as we sing from our hymn sheet, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Tis so sweet to trust in and to take him at his word and to him at just to rest upon his promise to rest upon and to know the self the Lord the self Jesus, Jesus how I trust him how, how I proved him o'er and o'er him more Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus Jesus, Jesus Oh, for grace to trust him more For grace Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus Oh, how sweet to trust, just to trust his cleansing blood, and in simple faith to pledge him, need the healing, cleansing blood, clean, clean, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him. How I, how I, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, such Jesus, precious, oh for grace, oh for, yes, the sweet to trust in Jesus, the sweet to, ba -ba 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 -ba. from sin. And self to kiss just from Jesus simply life and rest and peace and joy. That's how I oh Jesus Jesus. 
Yes, it is sweet to trust in Jesus. To trust in Jesus. Thank you. At this time, congregation, please be seated. I shall call one who also is known to us. He will come and say a word on the behalf of his church, our beloved Bishop Marlon Jones from Mount Pisgah. He shall address the congregation. Trouble and trial when I get home on the other side. I'm going to shake my hand with the elders. Tell all the people good morning. Sit down beside my Jesus. Sit down and rest a little while. It's soon be done with troubles and trials when I get home. On the other side, I'm going to shake my hand with the elders. Tell all the people good morning. Sit down beside my Jesus. Sit down and rest a little while. It's soon be done with troubles and trials. When I get home on the other side. Tell all the people good morning. Thank you. Praise God. To the House of Bishops and Ministers of the altar, all the co-workers in the vineyard of Almighty God, I do greet you with the peace of God that passeth all man's understanding. On the behalf of the Board of Directors and the members of the Mount Pisgah Spiritual Baptist Church, we offer our sincere condolences to the family of Mother Evelyn Yard. And uh, we know that in times of in times like these, there's grieving, there's a sense of loss, but it can give you a simple word of cons consolation. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Amen, saith the Spirit. For they rest from their labors, and their deeds follow them. A lady of a small stature, but a powerful woman. It isn't the, the exposure to the public that made her powerful. It was the kindness and sincerity that she carried that made her powerful. She had a hardworking spirit and she was dedicated to any task that was set before her. But what, what impressed me mostly about Evelyn, that she was quiet. She didn't want all the bells and the whistles. She was able to move in her time even if her time was five o'clock in the morning to go and get vegetables for Cuckoo Village or go and get chicken wings from BMC. She was dedicated. I remember seeing Evelyn walking down the harbor road with a box of her head. You know, like a real old African Bajan woman, right? And a box of her head walking down Spring Garden to get to the store. But what impressed me more was her kindness. That if she had, she called and she gave. And that was the important thing. 
And it brings me to the point where Jesus would say, if your brother is hungry, feed him. If he is naked, clothe him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. And Evelyn carried that, what he would call the foundation of Christianity in that she cared for others. And that is the important thing. She recognized that the, the important thing of life is how we treat with each other. So, travel alone on your journey, mother. I know that your inheritance since God is beautiful. We give thanks for knowing you. We give thanks for the life that you live. And may the family, as you go through your grieving process, remember, she is safe in the arms of Jesus. I thank you. We thank the Lord Bishop for his greetings this afternoon. And at this time, we shall have the eulogy. Oh, yes. He never thought it would come so soon. The eulogy shall be read by Eureka Yard, Greenwich, and Rico Yard. Good afternoon, church. I am Erica Yard Greenwich, and today we are gathered here in celebration of the life of my grandmother, Deaconess Mother Evelyn Yard. Mama, as we affectionately called her, was born on August 25, 1936, to Awanita Ward and Norman Clark. She lived for 86 years and touched our lives in a myriad of ways. To say that we did not anticipate her passing would be to ignore her last period of suffering. We, the family, watched as she grew frailer with each passing day, a mere shadow of the mama we had known. As she became, as she became too weak to stand, Grandson Rico carried her from place to place in his arms, the same way she had carried him many years before when he was a baby. As her body weakened physically, her expression of love grew exponentially. She hardly complained or admonished us, and her demands were minimum. Once you were near enough to her, Mama would reach out to hold your hands legs or face, and she would caress them lovingly. Watching Mama deteriorate was heart-wrenching, yet we understood and accepted that death was inevitable. We shudder when we remember that it was nearly 18 years prior that Mama had suffered her first major stroke followed by at least one known heart attack. Mama was a live wire. She loved dressing and attending weddings and other functions. She was always on the go. Mama was the epitome of hard work. From an early age, she joined the gang and worked in the fields of Ferry Valley and Spencer's plantations. She toiled in those fields for years to feed herself and her growing family before leaving the plantation work to work at the nearby airport. From the airport, it was on to the Barbados Marketing Corporation, BMC, now known as BADMC. She worked at BMC as a janitor until she left medically unfit following a fall at work. Still, Mama was always working. We have vivid memories of her as she hustled through Bridgetown to buy new and used clothing for a grandchild or some person or another. Then, 
It was to get fish, meat, ground provisions, and other necessities for church functions. Finally, she got the ingredients to make her own sugar cakes, nut cakes, bakes, and fish cakes. In season, she also collected ackees, golden apples, plums, English apples, plantains, bananas, grapes, and oranges to sell for herself at home. Mama loved money, but she was willing to work for it. She used every available opportunity to make extra funds to develop her property and to improve the living conditions for her and her last two children. Mama encouraged her children and grandchildren to save at least a penny out of every pay pack. And as expected, she was thrifty. Mama threw meat in turns. She picked onions and peppers, dug yams and potatoes. She also planted canes, cut them and loaded them. Okras, peppers, pumpkins and other crops were also planted for sale. Many a time, she harvested her own crops and then those of neighboring farmers. That was a lot, but it still was not all. We could never forget that she reared and butchered many pigs, sold piglets, had sheep, cows, and goats as well, while still being gainfully employed. Once Mama saw an opportunity, she took advantage of it. So let me add that my enterprising grandmother had also cleaned and packaged the eggs before traveling for miles to sell them. And additionally, on evenings after work or at the break of dawn during the weekends, she was out picking buckets of grapes and dunks to be sold to the Bridgetown vendors. Picking cotton was one of her favorite pastimes. She delighted in ramming the bag so tight that a hundred pounds seemed to be a basic target. But if any of you ever picked cotton, you know that that was a mammoth task. Very often, Mama came home to boast that she had picked the most cotton for a day or for a given week. Many of the inspectors and butchers at BMC would also recall that she made an extra dollar as well, washing and pressing their heavily bloody clothing in preparation for the upcoming work week. Yet, everything Mama did was not for money. She also worked for the church. Ask anyone at Cuckoo Village, and they would attest to that. They sing her the praises of a hard taskmaster with good customer service skills. It was noted that she was quick to get and fulfill the orders of each customer. So determined was she that if a customer wanted something and did not have enough money, she still ensured that they went away happy. Mama found comfort and refuge in the church. And for years, she trekked from Ferry Valley to Ealing Grove to worship on foot. Sometimes with one grandchild or another being dragged half asleep along the rough journey home. When she was unable to get to the church, the church came to her for worship. It is therefore no secret then that her children and grandchildren also learned the value of hard work and of saving a dollar. But they also heeded some sagely advice. Rico, who worked from home during that, sorry, Rico, who worked from home during and after COVID to help with her care, remembers three important life lessons she taught him as she prepared him for any eventuality. Never leave home without vet's money. Always take a bag with you when you leave home, cause you don't know who can get something. But 
Always we fall with your belly full. Mama also armed Rico, his sister, Shanikia, and cousin Trevor spiritually, as she also often requested that they read Psalm 27 to her. As they read, she recited verbatim. We, the grandchildren, got to see the good side of our grandmother. Many of us never knew the firm disciplinarian that she was, and we escaped her venomous rebukes and blistering bullets, her tamari rod whippings our parents, aunts, and uncles got. Mama loved her grandchildren dearly and readily picked up the slack for most of them when their parents could not financially. I guess that is why she felt inclined for us to feed her cravings. She loved to eat and drink, barbecued pigtails, soup, a coke, a brandy for the worms, chicken and chips and pudding and sauce were among her requests, despite her being hypertensive and diabetic. Forbidden food, in her case, was the sweetest, and it came as no surprise that her son Keith's lasting memory of her will be one of food also. Keith recalled that when he informed Mama that he was coming home from the USA for Christmas, all she asked him for was a ham. So, as soon as Keith got to Mama's house and said, Good evening, Mama, her greeting was, Keith, where is my ham? I oh, want my ham. Suffice to say, Keith had forgotten the ham at home. The grands had it, well, at home in Barbados, that is. The grands had it good, but Mama spoiled the great grands. She had a fondness for Renesmi, Baldi, DeMarco, Old Man, and Imani. They came at a time when she had mobility issues and benefited from being held and cuddled in her arms with the occasional monetary donation or unexpected gift. Mama loved Imani, and Imani loved her dearly. Mere hours before she passed, her youngest daughter, Darling, shared that she had told her mother that she had worked hard and that she had done her best to raise her eight children and that they were all adults now. But as Mama cried then, Darlene interjected that the only small child she still had was Imani, and that Imani would be taken care of. Darlene said she told Mama that it was okay for her to go and rest if she was tired. A few hours later, Mama took that rest. At 8.35 p.m. on February 6, after being hospitalized for a single day, her heart was silent. Mama leaves to mourn her eight children, one sister, an uncle, numerous ne nieces and nep nephews, grands, great-grands, relatives, and cherished friends. Mama, we miss you, but we are glad at least that we were able to fulfill your 86th birthday request. When you desire to go on a, an island trip around Barbados, and we watched as you thoroughly enjoyed yourself, we knew your request was special. We are glad we made you happy. You have touched our hearts and our lives. You will always be with us. Goodbye. to thank my beloved sister for the eulogy and the brother in Jesus holy name
At this time, we invite the congregation to please stand as we sing from your hymnal, the hymn, O oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder. Please stand. O oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome consider the word I has I made, yeah, I has, um, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout, thy power throughout, the universe displayed, thy universe my soul sings my soul my savior my sing we are going to how great the world how great the world how great the world sing my soul my soul I sing the God I wonder and for his grace I wonder and hear the birds and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees sweet when I look down when, when I look down from lofty mountain wonder from lofty mountain wonder and hear the birds Feel a gentle breeze and, and feel the gentle breeze. They sing my soul. My Savior God to thee. My Savior God to thee. How great the world. How great the world. How great the world. They sing my soul. Go to the oh, great the world, 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 oh, Send me 
hagy vagyok, se fél, én nem is Of course, our God is great. We serve a risen Lord, a powerful God. And if you are atheist, sad will be your portion. There is a God, they call him the Almighty God. But at this time, before I call for the collection of the offering, there is a vehicle here by the number XA6749, XA6749, your engine is still on. So we don't want you to run out of gas, go and make sure that you turn off your vehicle, XA6749. Congregation, please be seated. At this time, I I should invite the ushers to come around to the congregation as we collect an offering for the upkeep of this beautiful cathedral. The honor and glory of God. I believe some of you have seen it for the first time. Take, take a good look. Welcome home, African sons and daughters. Feel free to clap your hands and stamp your feet if you so desire. You know how it is done by the spiritual Baptist faith. For truly the trees of the Lord are full of sap. I have got a home in glory, Lord, that will shine the sun. I have got a home in glory, Lord, that will shine the sun. I got a home in glory land. Oh, I lay beyond the blue. Oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, do Lord, remember me. Do Lord, oh, do Lord, do Lord, remember me. Do Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, remember me. Jesus and my Savior, you take. Oh, yes. I told Jesus and my Savior, you take him too. I told Jesus and my Savior, you take him too. Away beyond the blue. Oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, remember me. Oh, yes. Do Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, remember me. The home in glory, Lord, and I'll shine the sun. I've got a home in glory, Lord, and I'll shine the sun. I've got a home in glory, Lord, and I'll shine the sun. I'll be beyond the blue. Oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, do Lord, remember me. Oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, do Lord. Lord, oh, Lord, 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 
miss my down here. Where you miss my down here. Take a trip of being glory. You will find me on there. Oh, when you miss my down here. Oh, when you miss my down here. Take a trip of being glory. You will find me on there. Oh, when you miss my down here. Oh, when you miss my down here. Take a trip of being glory. Oh, believe all oh, that you miss my down here. Oh, that you miss my down here. Take a drink of being glory. And you will. Oh, believe all oh, that you miss my down here. Oh, that you miss my down here. Take a drink of being glory. Oh, believe all oh, that you miss my down here. Oh, that you miss my down here. Oh, my love, my here. Oh, my love, my love, my mother if you miss me don't come searching and if you don't find me I'll be gone if you don't hear from me don't come knocking at my door I'll be gone in a twinkling of an eye what is fundamental is this evening we rejoice we are happy because she had made her calling and election sure. That is why all of this rejoicing. She had made her calling and election sure. In other words, she was baptized. Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. All you want to listen to my voice. If you're not baptized, make sure you get baptized before you leave this world. A lot of people don't believe in this, they don't believe in that. But when, you, when your heart stops beating, when you quit the scene of action, you now see the real life. Nothing can be done then. Too late. Too late shall be your cry. 
Jesus of Nazareth will pass you by. People making a lot of preparation. You know, they have a big race. Within a few hours from now, down there are following thousands of people. Nobody is studying about their soul salvation. But nevertheless, the, this funeral is not really about the, the mother. Because she was baptized, she has lived the life, and he, she is on her journey. What about you this afternoon, her family, her friends? Do you want to place your foot into her footprint? Plunge into the ark of safety before time changed to eternity. There is no restart button. So when you waste your time here, you want this, you want that. Nothing wrong with that. The man should enjoy the fruits of his labor. But also make room for your soul's salvation. Jesus was baptized. And if Jesus was baptized, no man can condemn him. No man can condemn baptism. I didn't say confirmation. I said baptism. Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Ghost. And he was not baptized in no fault in no church. You must be baptized in living water. Living water. So you have a time now to plant into the ark of safety. You don't have tomorrow put down. You don't have tonight put down. Your number can be called anytime. So if I were you, I will get baptized and live for Jesus. Don't just get baptized and then go back. The song says, the things I used to do, I do them no more. It's a great change since I was born. All you young men listen to me who believe that church for old people and little children you better find yourself in the house of God before time change to eternity so may God bless you and on behalf of the house of bishops the ministerial order and the members of the sons of God apostolic spiritual baptist faith we do give our deepest condolences to the family and friends of the late deaconess mother evening yard i thank you greetings in the wonderful name of jesus beautiful in the sight of the lord is the death of his saints and when i look around today and i see evelyn's beautiful family I want to say to them and to all that have known her with all that I've heard this evening what a wonderful example Jesus said who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies and he go on to speak about this woman and all the things that this virtuous woman will do for her family and for all that surround her and all that I have heard today there were ticks going off in my mind pertaining to the thing that this humble little woman have done it goes on to say beauty is vain and everybody loved the beautiful woman he said and favor is deceit but a woman that fears the Lord she shall be praised and today we thank God for her and I pray that you lovely women of the family have taken a leaf out of her book and I call upon you now to stand as we prepare for the reading of the Lord our God he stand our text shall be taken 
from the gospel of Jesus Christ according unto St. John chapter 14 reading from verses 1 even unto 6 and they shall be read by Deaconess Maria Ashby but before the reading of our text you can turn to page 3 in your hymnal we will see a beautiful canticle where people who wonder why saints of God serve God. For this cause we serve God. Because his promises are sure unto us as we make our promise to him. Let us lift our voices as we sing this hymn together. Oh Jesus, I promise to serve thee to the end. Thee to thee, be thou forever near me, forever, my master and my friend, stay I shall not fear the battle, not fear the, if thou art by my side, Word by my no wonder from the pathway the from the path if thou wilt be my guide oh let me feel thee near me defeat thee the world is ever near I see the sights that dazzle, the sights that, the tempting songs I hear, my foes are ever near me, ever around me and within me, and, but Jesus brought down nearer. Just draw down and shield my soul from sin. So, oh, let me hear thee speaking. Miguel, in answer clear and still. Nothing clear above the storms of passion. The storms of of self-will myself oh speak to reassure me to reassure to hasten or control stand on oh speak and make me listen and make me the guardian of my soul Jesus, thou hast promised oh, Jesus, thou hast to all who follow thee, who fall, that we're the earth in glory, thou art in, there shall thy servant be. And Jesus, I have promised. Jesus, I to serve thee to the end. Oh, give me grace to follow. Me grace to my master and my friend. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our evening text. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and I prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. 
And where I go, you know. And the way, you know. Tell so I said unto him, Lord, we know that where thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come up unto the Father, but by me. Amen. And God of all promise to bless the reading of his holy word. In your hymnal, page for Jerusalem, my happy home. Jerusalem, my happy name ever dear to me. Verde, when shall my labors have an end? My labors have thy choice. When shall I see? When shall, when shall these eyes, thy heaven built walls, these eyes, thy heaven? And pearly gates behold, league gates, thy bulwarks with salvation strong, walls with salvation, and streets of shining gold. So shine, apostles, martyrs, prophets, dear. So smart it's brought around my Savior stand, my Savior, and all I love in Christ below. I love in Christ, will join the glorious band, the glory, Jerusalem. Behold, Salem, my heart. When shall I come to thee? Thy come. When shall my labors have an end? My labors have. Thy choice, when shall I see? Then shall, O oh Christ, to do my soul prepare. My soul, for that bright womb of love, that I may see thee and adore, may see thee and with all thy saints above. I said, she's going home, she's going home. She's going to her redeemer land. Lie long enough in Christ shall join the glorious man. Jerusalem, my happy home, my heart, then shall I come to thee, then shall my labors have an end, but have thy choice, then shall I see. And now I introduce to you his lordship, Bishop Marcus Waldron, that he will deliver the sermon. God bless you as you come. Thank you. Please be seated. This evening when I gaze at all of you who have come out to pay your last respects to someone who have touched your life for the good in some aspect of her living. 
It tells me that there are still people that contribute good to the society. And when I heard the eulogy uh, read, I have seen that she was a woman of virtue. She was not an idle woman, but someone that the way Solomon wrote about, her price seemed to be above rubies. But all of that is very, very good. It shows that she has inculcated in her life and in the life of her family, hard work brings success. And how you live your life means a lot to the next generation. It was said that those who do not do well, the generation down to the third and fourth generation has a problem. But those that do well, it will be good with the generations down the line. But here Jesus is speaking above all that we do in this life. There is one event to all the sons of men. And not only the sons of men, the birds and beasts and fishes and trees and animals and insects. One event that takes them all. So it is certain, regardless of what we do here in this life, we cannot stay here forever because it is called a transient life. Moving from one area into an X. It is appointed unto man once to die and after the judgment so it is important what we do in this life because there is a life after the body has gone back to the dust as it was Solomon says he called himself I am a worm and no man. We all go back to the dust because we were taken from the dust. And we go through all the, the forms and we come to a human being and the breath of life is given to us. But regardless of all of that, that takes place in our lives, there is still Jesus speaking. And when you hear Jesus said, I come to bring life, and that more abundantly, he was not speaking about the physical at all. You already had that. But he came, comes to bring a life that knows no end. For when Peter and the apostles asked him, when they de made a declaration, Lord, I have given up all for you. What shall be my reward? He didn't tell them that they're going to live forever in this physical. He told them that they will get things in this life. And then he referred to the true life and in the world to come, everlasting life. We do not get everlasting life in the physical. 
So Jesus has some work to say because men's hearts are always troubled. They came here and either we are happy to have and live in a Christian society where we speak about the afterlife a lot. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. In the 53rd Psalm, and in the 14th Psalm, it is said, the fool, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And when you really start to examine that, you will see a lot of people in academia, according to Jesus' statement, would be called fools. Not only the man in the street, because they deny an existence of a supreme being that governs all things. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. And if you do not believe in God, then you would have a, a reprobate mind. And when you believe in God, believe also in the Son of God. Because the Son of God is the express image of his Father. And he came down in human flesh, taking on this coarse mantle of life, that he may bring those who are in the flesh, human beings, to be with him in the spirit. And he shows us the steps we have to take. There is a many steps before a man can become a physical person. And you would know all the steps. When Jesus came on the scene, the angel told his mother, the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you. And that which is born of you shall be called the son of the highest. And we go through the steps with the human beings. For it was said in, in the beginning that men would replenish the earth. And you would understand all of the things that would happen between there before you became physical. Jesus came to console our hearts. That whatever happened in the physical, there is life in the spiritual. And if we are going to go down that road, then we live the life in the physical that shows what happens in the spiritual. When I heard the eulogy being read, I, I, was, I was hearing uh, the wise Solomon speaking about the virtuous woman throughout. How she was a merchant. How, how she was able to do so many things. And he was talking about a good woman and that is very good. We then are uh, called uh, to take all the virtues that are physical and transcend them to another height. Whereby we are able to give God the glory and honor that is due to his name. We hear, I told you about believing God. Believe also in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus set some standards 
for human beings to follow. And when he was about 30 years old, he started to set another standard. For he knew that a man must be born again. 30 years old has learned all his intellect and his youth and the marrow in his bones. That's the time men think they are at their finest. And he was setting standards now for the spirit. And he went to a man and told the man, I want to be baptized of you. How did he know that? He had a knowledge from experience. He had a knowledge from the priests. He had a knowledge from all the, the many sages that he met. And now he's about to take all the things that he had learned in his youth and bring them as a mature person to the sons of men. And the man told him, uh, I don't see no sin in you. And Jesus told him, okay, you didn't see no sin, but this is something that I have to do. This is something that I must demonstrate to all sons of men, wherever they are in the universe. I must show them this becomes the door to the kingdom of heaven. So I told him a second standards. He believed in God. You must believe in his son. And now the son is telling you how to get back to God. We have strayed long. We have gone many avenues in life. Some take on to do this in their life and others to do that. There were many areas. But then, Jesus said it is a narrow gate. That's what he says. The way to life is narrow. The way to the physical or all the glories of this world is broad. But there is a narrow way to get into eternal life. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I am not afraid. I am not troubled. Because I know I have done the thing that is right. It is impossible, says the scripture, for God to lie. He cannot lie. It's impossible and he always tell you the truth. For he says, I am the way. So if he says that I have to go to a man, and that man will point me to the kingdom of heaven, and then I will come in at another date and demand another baptism will come from me which is the baptism of the Holy Ghost then that is the way I must walk and he said the same Jesus if any man climb up you want to subvert you know some people want to say that they want to uh, get in but they can climb up some other way, they can go through a window. You know, they can break open a door or something. You're still going to be out of it. Jesus has taught us the way. And you know that this world would have been a better place if men followed the way of God. 
all of these murders, especially a lot of young men. And all the things that we do, God does not put up with that. Because there is no fear of God in their minds. Nobody is telling the next come back. This would be a beautiful place. We would live here in the physical and we would then transcend to the spiritual and we wouldn't have to bother. But now men's hearts are fainting them for fear. Certain people are, are live in certain areas, not all, even in certain areas, all over. As you go in your house, you lock your door. As it comes six o'clock, you shut down all the windows. You make sure you got enough burglar bars to keep out. We are in fear. I remember uh, 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 our first prime minister said, it would be a sad time when, when a prime minister has to walk up with a bodyguard. Yes, he said that. But we are called to peace. And you know you can only find peace in one direction. When you find peace with God, all the other peace are only temporal, only word to mouth. And they said that when they, they fought the Second World War, they said that that World War was to stop all of the wars. There will be no more wars. And you know, since the, the Second World War finished around 1945, 46, in that area, that there have been hundreds of wars all over the world. No peace. Only peace is from one place. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. But when God says peace, it is perfect peace. And you will not know peace until you find the man, Jesus Christ. And until you, you enter, because he says, I am the door. By me, if any man Regardless if the man is a murderer, if the man is a rapist, whatever the person does, man or woman, there is only one way. And that is the way that he gives eternal life. Follow that path. I entreat you this evening as we, we bear our sister fairly well from this point. But we know we do not bury spirits. We bury bodies is the remain of the person the spirit that lived there and I hope now that we are able to give to God all the glory to you unto his name I thank you Amen the congregation please stand His Lordship, Bishop used to proceed to bless the body of our beloved sister, that she will ascend up into heaven as the angels bear her safely into paradise, where she will meet with her spiritual father, Patriot Granville, who is responsible for her and who will present her to her heavenly father, Jesus. And as he pray also for her, the beloved family, God bless them. On the earth. 
You send your son, Lord Jesus, to teach man. He taught us. We obeyed this beloved mother, sister, friend. You give her to us. As a help me in this world, in your service, Jesus. Now, Lord, we thank thee, O oh Father, for the good that she has done on this earth to serve thee and to honor and to worship thee, Lord. We ask, O oh Father, That you may look down from above. Outstretch thy hands. Draw us. Draw her in your mind, little God. Place her in your bosom, Jesus. Oh Lord, shield her on our journey. Protect her. Walk with her, Jesus. Dispatch the angels. Your energetic host, Jesus. Sing, O oh God, her ancestors as she visit them, Father. Draw her in your mind, O oh God. Break down every idol from before her. Oh God, I ask thee, roll away any stone, oh God. Jehovah. Jehovah, thank you. The capture grab of the Yari Samoa. I ask thee, Father. John Kimela. Allah, Allah, Bafa. Remember, oh Jesus, as we look to thee, remember those that have left behind her family, her friends, those, oh God, that come to thee, oh Jesus, help them to follow. Those, oh God, who hold between two opinions, the example that she lived, they may look upon her. And they may stretch out their hands to thee. Shield them and provide for them, Lord. You say, you will not let your seed bear bread. Your holy ones see corruption. Those that come to thee, you will in no wise cast out. Lord Jesus, I ask thee to remember us. Remember her with your universal love. Oh, love divine, how sweet thou art. Give us a willing heart, my God, to serve thee, to worship thee, Jesus. This evening, I humbly beseech and ask thee in humility. Accept these true words that I bring before you on the behalf of the sister, the mother, the spirit that you give us and guide her on our journey in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh uh -huh. 
sweet and blessed country. Oh, sweet yeah. and blessed that eagle hearts expect. Jesus, you and mercy bring us. Mother, she dead and she gone. She gone along the road to glory. How I love her to go there to I love how I love how I love her to go there. Oh, me mother, she dead and she gone. Children. Happy journey, how I love, how I love children, how I love for to go. Oh, me mother, she dead and she go, she gone along to glory. How I love for to go, how I love, how I children, how I Oh, 
coming. Oh, them come 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 See them coming. Oh, let them come coming. See them coming. Ding dong da ba 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 ba. Ding dong da ding da ding da ding da ding da ding. Ding dong da ba 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 ba. Ding dong da ba 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 Gading gading gading.
sisi ya. Oh yes, if I should die on a pilgrim journey. Oh, should I die on a pilgrim journey? born of a woman have but a short time to live and is full of misery he cometh up and is cut down like a flower he flayeth as it were a shadow and never continueth in one stay in the midst 
of life we are in death of whom may we seek for succor but of thee O Lord who for our sins are justly displeased yet O Lord God most holy O Lord most mighty O holy and most merciful Savior deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death thou knowest Lord the secrets of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayer, but spare us, Lord most holy, O God most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal. Suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall from thee. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, from henceforth blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. For as much as have pleased Almighty God of His great mercy to take unto Himself the soul of our dear sister Evelyn, here now departed, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I speak to soul and Well, 
Let's fly. Let's fly. I need my shadows. Like sea billows roll, rolls like sea. Whatever my lot, 
Whatever my love, that has taught me to know, has taught me to know, it is well, it is well with my soul. Oh, it is well with my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well, it is well. With my soul, though Satan should buffet. Oh, though Satan should buffet, though trial shall. Let this bless assure us. This bless assure that Christ had regarded. Oh, oh, that Christ had regarded my helplessness day and has shed his own blood. For my soul, oh, 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 oh. it is well with my soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well. My sin or the bliss, oh, my sin or the bliss of that glorious star. My sin, not in part, but the holes nailed to the cross. Oh, it is nailed to the cross, and I bear them. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, it is well with my soul. It is well, oh, it is well, it is well. For me be it Christ. Oh, oh, for me be it Christ, be it Christ, hence to live. Jordan, Jordan above me shall, no pang shall be mine. Oh, no pang shall be mine. For in death as in life, thou will whisper thy peace. It is well with my soul, with my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well with my soul. But Lord is for thee, oh, but Lord is for thee. For thy coming we wait. The sky, not the grave, is our goal. Oh, the trump of the angel, oh, trump of the angel, oh, voice of the Lord, blessed hope, blessed rest of my soul, glory to God, it is well with my soul, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. My soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well, it is well, with my soul, we can hold my body down, oh, no grave can hold my body down, 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 oh, when the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall, no grave can hold my body no grave can hold my body down, 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 oh yes. No grave can hold my body, body down. Trumpet shall sound, dead in Christ shall rise. Oh, no grave can hold my body down, down, down. No grave, no grave. Body, body down, oh, when the trump and the dead in Christ shall, oh, no grave can hold, no grave can hold my body down, 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 no grave can hold my body, body down, 
when the trumpet shall sound, dead in Christ shall rise. No grave can hold my body down. Oh, no grave can hold my body down. Oh, when the trumpet shall, and the dead in Christ shall. No grave can hold my body down. Oh, yeah. No grave can hold my body body down. Oh, when the trumpet shall, and the dead in Christ. No grave, hold my body down, oh Lord, and no grave, hold my body down, oh, when the trumpet shall sound, dead in Christ shall rise. No Body down, oh, and the trumpet shall sound. The dead in Christ shall rise. No grave can hold my body down. Body down. No grave can hold my body. Oh, and the trumpet shall and the dead in Christ. Carry me away, carry me away, man. Oh, carry me away to the burial place, children. When I Children, when I die, oh, can we be a big, can we be a big man? Can we be a bit at the burial place? Children, when I die, oh, can we be a big, can we be a big man? Can we be a bit at the burial place? Oh, children, can we be a big, can we be a big?
I shall live forever with my Lord. Oh, I shall not die, but I shall live forever. Oh, but I shall live forever. I shall live forever. I with my Lord. I shall. Depends the dark. Lord with me. When other helpers fail, when other helpers fail, help of the helpless Lord, help of the help. Abide with me. Swift to its close, swift to ends out like little dead. Earth joys grow dim, earth joys. Its glories passed away, glories pass. Change and decay, change and in all around I see. Oh, thou who changes not, oh, thou, abide with me. I need thy presence every passing hour. I need thy prayer every passing hour. What but thy grace, what? Can foil the tempest power. The tempt who like thyself, who like thy my guide and stake and be through clouds and sunshine, Lord, through clouds abide with me. I fear no foes. I fear with thee at hands to bless. Hills have no weight, hills have, and tears no bitterness. Where is the sting? 
Where is Grave? Where is thy victory? I triumph still. I triumph still. If thou. Thy cross be my cross shine through the gloom, shine through the and points me, points me to heaven morning praise, heaven morning and earth in shadows sleep. In life, in death, O oh Lord, in life, in death, O oh Lord, there is a light of your life. We sing the motorway. We sing the motorway. In final joy, yes, in the night. In final joy. Till my last day, street abide. Till and never will we flower. Death like an arrow, see the vines. That holy Lord from my words. Sweet feet beyond the swelling flood. Stand dressed in living green. So the Jew don't can I start. The Jews. Why join and hold between? But there was more to start a shrink. My mouth to cross the narrow sea. Across the narrow I have the shivering on the brink. On the brink. And fear to launch away. Oh, can we make our doubts remove? Those gloomy doubts and rise. I see the kid that we love. Behold, be clouded eyes. Come back, climb, we are more than Jordan stream, Jordan stream, no. Can fight us from the shore.
children. Children, where you come from? From the land of children, where you going? Oh, children, tell me where you come from. For the land of Canaan. I heard a voice of Jesus. Come unto me and rest. Come unto me. 
Lay down thy weary ones, lay down, lay down. We ones, lay down thy head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was. To Jesus as weary and worn sad. Weary and worn. I found in him my resting place. My resting, and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus saying, Behold, I freely give. Behold, the living water, thirsty one, the living water, thirst. Stoop down and drink and live. Down and drink. I came to Jesus and I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, my thirst was quenched. And now I live in him. I heard the voice of Jesus sing. I am this dark world's light. I am this dark. Look unto me, thy moon shall rise. Look unto me. And all thy days be bright. I looked to Jesus and I found. In him my star, my crown. And in that light of life I walk, and in that light of life, till traveling days are done. I heard the voice of Jesus saying, I am this dark world's light, I am this dark. Look unto me, thy moon shall rise, and all thy days be bright. I looked to Jesus and I found in him my star, my crown. And in that light of life I walk till traveling days are done. Traveling days are done. Speak. I have I heard my soul in the heaven of rest. She will sail the white seas no more. The ten In Jesus, she is safe evermore. She I heard her soul in the heaven of rest. She will sail the white sea. In Jesus, she is safe evermore. Man that is born of a woman has but a short time to live. The Bible declared his days are full of misery. He rises up as a flower. In the morning and in the evening he is cut down and wither away. This is the evening of our days. This is what it will be like. I want to implore you this evening. We all must come this way. 
is a matter of when and how. But we are not concerned of what kind of death we die. But we want to be prepared to meet our God. Whether you die of ailments, accident, whether someone take your life is not important. But the way you leave this world is important. I am telling you this evening, this is inevitable. This time must come. But I want you this evening to prepare to meet Jesus as a smiling Savior and not as a frowning judge. He is coming for a prepared people. Are you prepared this evening to meet him? We are preparing for all other things. But I want to tell you this evening, man is a jewel nature. Man is both body and spirit. The body must go back to whence this came. This body is just the food that we eat. This is the potato, the rice, the macaroni pie, the pork, the chicken, the lamb. This body here, and it must return there from whence it came. But there's a part of you this evening that does not rely on the chicken and whatever to be sustained. That part of your body is your spiritual body. And the way you look after your physical body, you too must look after your spiritual body. The food for the spirit and the soul is not the macaroni pie and the rice and the chicken, but the food for the whole for the spirit and the soul this evening is salvation. Salvation story is being telling all around. But one day coming soon, there will be a famine in the land. The famine will not consist of food and commodities. But there will be a famine in the land for the word of God. Men are going to run to hear the word of God. But too late, too late will be the cry this evening. And my friends, this evening, while you have your strength, while your mental faculties are still intact, give your life to Jesus. Many are saying, I heard years ago, the Lord is soon coming, and he haven't come yet. But Jesus declared in his word, it's not my desire that any should perish, but it's his desire that all should gain eternal life. And he's waiting on you this evening to plunge into the ark of safety. He is waiting for you to come and surrender your life to him. Because one day the clouds will be rolled back as a scroll. We are going to behold him coming in his glory. But that is not the time to repent. The time is now. Because when he come, you must be prepared and ready. You must be. And don't let this gospel pass you by. Men and brethren, it look nice and rosy. But I want to tell you, this life is not eternal. This life we are living this evening. It's not the eternal life he promised to us. And I want to tell you who believe that the honey and the milk is here. And there's no other place to go about earth. I want to tell you this evening. Jesus said he go prepare a place for us. That where he is we will be also. And you must believe in the word of God. Jesus himself has spoken it. He has set his word above his head. And he said it shall not return void to him. His word is sure. His promise is sure. So this evening, while your breath and pulse remain, come to Jesus while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. His ears are not too heavy. 
that he cannot hear you. Then his hands too short that he cannot save. But he's waiting on you to launch out to him. He's waiting to you to plunge in this evening. And my friends, this evening I pray you will think upon these words. How when you desire, decided to come to Jesus, come. Come, because earth joys one day will pass away. There will be change and decay. All that we are holding on to, it will come to an end. God bless you and keep you. And I pray this evening, before time change to eternity, you will plunge into the ark of safety and be eternally saved. Peace and a blessed good evening.
Get there before I do come in for to carry. Tell all the saints we are coming at to come in for to carry. to declare that I was born to die to lay this body down but someday your trembling spirit fly far to a world unknown man is made of a body soul and spirit this world of flesh journey she have to go from junction to junction from school to school from boundary to boundary you don't just die you go straight to heaven you gotta pass a lot of roads but we pray that the angels they bear her safe into paradise 
The place for the saints is called paradise. Somebody said, oh paradise, I greatly long to see. A special place, my dearest Lord. A love prepared for me. So you do not have to weep this evening over the happy dead. She is safe in the everlasting arms. She will be sitting to the streets, to the gates of Jerusalem. But this evening, brethren, as she travel, her ancestors, the angels, and she must meet her point in teacher. You don't go straight to Jesus. The pointer must present you to Jesus. And then Jesus present you to God. It is a chain in command. It's what we call here on earth protocol. But this evening, brethren, we pray for all those that are left behind. As I said before, you will seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him when he's near. Fly into the ark of safety. Follow the footsteps of your mother, your aunt, your grandmother. And be eternally saved. Be eternally saved. And as you go to the courts of Africa, all footsteps come from Africa. We know they'll be happy to meet her. She's not going there with a sad face. She's going there with much rejoicing. Because she is saved. She's washed in the blood of the Lamb. So may God bless you this evening. And you're welcome to visit our churches. Tomorrow being Sunday. Our churches, our Jerusalem's Cathedral, Eden Grove Christ Church. Services there every Sunday morning, commencing at 11 a.m. And you can also come to Zion Apostolic Spiritual Baptist Temple, situated in Richmond Gap, St. Michael. Services there every Friday night, commencing at 7 p.m. All are welcome. My last words to you, you have not all life to live after death there will be a final judgment there's no repentance after death you can't baptize the spirit you must baptize this flesh this robe of flesh to be eternally saved and if jesus is baptized you must place your foot into his footprint and be baptized likewise Find the Lord, seek the Lord where he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Have a blessed good evening in the name of the Lord. Sleep on and take your rest. Lay down thy head upon thy safe breast. We love you well, but Jesus loves you best. Sleep on, sleep on, sleep on. May God bless you and keep you. May he call the face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift it up, his countenance upon you and give you peace both now and forevermore a blessed good evening to each and everyone